outside of having a stiff mid back or that sort of hunched over appearance like this, a lack of thoracic extension or thoracic mobility is an often underappreciated area in regard to human function, training, and performance. A lot of times when it comes to pain or say uh, quality positioning and training, we tend to focus on the low back and pelvis and as well as the neck position, but we fail to understand how the thoracic spine plays a role in that positioning. Now we won't go into the details of core function as we've had previous videos about that, but it's very important to be able to keep the rib cage and pelvis connected for ideal core function. Now it's easy to bring your rib cage and pelvis down together, but if you have a stiff mid back and your head's hanging forward, this is not an ideal position. So what can happen is, is that when you're in a position like this where your rib cage and pelvis are connected, your chin is sticking out. So if I try and get my head and neck in a good position and I'm stiff in the mid back, I'm going to then cheat through my low back and thus disconnect. So then I try to correct that by connecting my rib cage and pelvis again and then my head sticks out. What's the missing link? Being able to extend in your mid back. Now I'm going to use the stick as a reference so you can see what I'm talking about. When I place this on my back, I should be able to get my belt line, my mid back, and my head touching on the stick ideally. It's not going to be perfect for everyone and that's okay. But what tends to happen when you have a stiff mid back is that I can connect my rib cage and pelvis right now and then my head sticks forward. And then to correct that, what I'll do is I'll try to stick my chin in or pull in, but then because my mid back is stiff, I I arch my back, right? And then to try and correct this to connect my rib cage and pelvis again, right? My head comes forward. So it's this relationship of this back and forth. Now, if you have a tough time connecting with the stick, getting into a neutral spine, you can test this out and see if your mid back is the problem by using a simple drill called a wall angel. Now to do the wall angel as a test, what you'll do is you'll lean up against the wall and you'll bring your feet forward about a foot or two lengths forward. And then I'm gonna connect my entire back, head and neck to the wall. So what I'll do is I'll tuck my tailbone or lift my belt buckle toward my nose, flatten that back on the wall. And then as best I can, I'm gonna try and tuck my chin so my head is touching the wall. I can do this, but for some people, this may be very difficult just to do off the bat. You may find as you tuck the chin, your low back wants to arch. As as you try and tuck the tailbone to flatten the back, your head wants to come out. Now once you're connected with the wall, what you do is you bring your arms up like this, push the elbows to the wall and the wrists to the wall. Many people will not even be able to get into this position, so if you can't, get the elbows there and let the wrists come forward a little bit. If you can get them back all the way, awesome. If you have a really hard time getting into this and you're feeling that uh, pinch or a tightness in the middle of your back, you know that your thoracic spine or your mid back is a limiting factor of getting you in good position. All right, now that I know that I need to work on this, we can turn this into a drill. Simply, I'm gonna get into position, and then from here, I'm gonna slide my arms up and then down while maintaining connection of the elbows and wrists to the wall as best I can, keeping that back flat and that chin tucked, which is pretty difficult for me. And then you can also change it up by keeping the wrists and the elbows connected and then slowly sliding down and coming back up, which I find very difficult down here and super tight in my mid-back, so I could probably use more of this.